Hey what's up guys, today we will be showing you how to make the power head filter safe for baby shrimp and fry. So sit back, relax and let's get started. The power head field is simple and all the pieces snap on easily. The airline tube should be connected to the small nozzle. It will provide more aeration in the tank. The filter chamber should be gently pulled off to access the filter sponge. We need to cover the intake as these small holes can trap baby shrimp or fry. We will use this filter sponge which is available at most aquarium stores. We will gently separate the sponge as it is too thick and will slow down the water. This is a perfect thickness for the water to flow through. We need to get the sponges wet in order to wrap it as it is too rigid at this stage. Let's hold the sponge down with rubber bands as it is easier to be removed later on when it needs to be cleaned. Remember to let the filter cycle in a bucket of water before you install it in your aquarium so that beneficial bacteria can be built up. As time passes the intake and the filter will become clogged up. This is noticeable when the sponge turns brown. First we turn off the filter. Gently shake it if you have any baby shrimp as they tend to graze on the sponge. It is recommended that you clean the filter a week or two after doing a water change. Doing both at the same time will result in a lack of beneficial bacteria thereby the water becoming cloudy. Remember to use unchlorinated water or water from the aquarium when rinsing off the sponges or filter media. The pump can be removed from the filter by gently turning and pulling it out. Remember not to damage the rubber seal. Gently pull out the impeller. Like before we will use the toothbrush to clean all these parts.
Rinse the sponge enough to remove the debris. Cleaning it too much will remove the beneficial bacteria which is essential in the aquarium. We will reuse the rubber bands to hold the sponge in place. There is a much better water flow now since the sponges are clean. We hope you liked the video and learned something from it. Feel free to comment your thoughts below and remember to subscribe for more videos.